All right, Coach, talk about playing. Um, what's your thought overall as a team? They didn't give up, got down 10 to nothing, and fought back to get a, a, a run. Just talk about fighting till the end and what you saw in your team today. Yeah, I mean, I think this week's, this week's experience, you know, coming here to Tallahassee and, and leaving to Columbia, you know, this weekend should be able to pay dividends down the road for our guys. If, if we're expected to compete for a SWAC championship, we know that one of the three regional sites that, you know, Bethune-Cookman historically has uh, gone to has been Miami, Florida, Florida State. So, you know, it's good to get our guys in this atmosphere, um, getting us ready for Columbia and hopefully what would be a deep run for us later on in May. Uh, Coach, you used several pitchers, but I saw some good things in your pitching today. Just talk about what positives you saw in the pitching today. Uh, they attacked the zone. You know, I think that when uh, we left the ball up or we weren't executing, you know, Florida State did a great job in, you know, capitalizing on their opportunities. But um, it, it starts with pitching and defense. You know, guys that through today are getting opportunities, just kind of get it, get us ready, carry us for the series over in South Carolina. And, you know, we're looking for our guys to continue to work um, and do what they do, especially on the mound. Coach, you had some new additions to the team that I've seen. Just talk about how your team is gelling now with the new parts. Uh, really good. You know, I think that the entire fall, right, with the hurricanes that, that we dealt with and being kind of displaced for a couple of weeks, losing, you know, that fall term or, you know, that fall segment of practice. I think when we came in the spring, we, we definitely needed to put an emphasis in putting this team together. Uh, so there's some things that we do, um, you know, off the field to make sure the guys are, you know, spending time with each other, trusting each other, communicating, getting to know each other. Uh, not so much as, hey, you know, this guy that plays baseball, but, but actually get into the stories of their backgrounds and, you know, the way they were raised. And I think it's coming together great. You know, this is a great group. Um, you know, they trust each other. They spend time with each other. And, you know, those are some things that you're going to need. You know, the great teams don't let, you know, the downfall get too down, right? So um, it's been good so far. I mean, I can't complain through 13 games. We're still three games over 500. Uh, pitching's doing its thing. You know, we averaged, you know, 10 runs a game last weekend. So, um, you know, there's some definitely positives, um, even after today's loss against Florida State that we look at. Coach. Yes, speaking of Florida State, how good is the relationship with Florida State to be able to play this game and uh, just like you say, kind of prepare yourself for the postseason if that be the case. Um, I think it's a good relationship, you know, with, um, you know, Chip Baker, who's their director of uh, operations here. You know, we've kind of set up the scheduling and now with Coach Jarrett, who took over, uh, we want to make it a point to try and play as, as many quality teams as we can to get us ready for a potential run at the end of May. So, you know, when Coach Jarrett, uh, when he got the job, he reached out, you know, made sure we were still on that schedule. And this is a relationship that until I'm here, you know, at, at Bethune-Cookman, we're still going to come up to Tallahassee and, and play the Seminoles because, again, like, we want to put our players in those situations as often as we can and having that relationship with coach Jarrett you know the Wildcats are coming to you know Tallahassee outside of playing FAMU uh, to come here and play. Hey coach finally Bethune Cookman has a great tradition of championship baseball do your guys understand that and, and how far do you reach that into uh, your message for your goal? Um, absolutely. You know, I think with 19 conference championships, you know, in the MEAC, you know, we're trying to secure our first one uh, now in the SWAC, you know, second year in. And I think we had a good showing last year. We went 19 and 11 in the SWAC play in the first year. And, you know, we ended up losing to the eventual SWAC uh, champs, Alabama State. But it's a situation where, you know, our guys are ingrained in the tradition, man. We're just here just trying to build on the tradition that was laid out for us. And they understand the magnitude of what it means to represent our, our program and our brand, not only on the field, but off the field as well. So they, they understand it they get it um, and we're again just trying to build in the tradition of Bethune-Cookman.